What's happening, everyone? My name is Speed Streak, and welcome back to Zero Escape 999. Now, from where we last off, off in the last episode, what we did was is that we were in, we went to a room behind the library, aka the study or Zero's laboratory, and we were trying to figure out all these puzzles, and we thought what we found what we thought was the coffin of all ice of or Alice, but Alice was not in there. But luckily, there was a couple emblems that we had to find to find to make a puzzle, and as well as a Neptune key card, or just key. And not only that, but what we also learned that we actually helped bring Seven's memory back with the help of a picture which held the four men, aka Gentaro Hongo, aka Ace, and his friends, including the Ninth Man, Gigi Nijisaki, whom we now learn is the fake snake in the shower room, and Kajichika, Kaj who, well, who is also known as Cap, aka the man with the zero bracelet. And we have, we have actually learned, remember, most of his memory from what we've learned from the submarine ending, where he was a detective and he was looking for the, the children when he, was, when he himself was captured and placed in the gigantic. Now, for those of you who haven't seen the last episode, there will be spoilers. So, if you haven't, so if if you have if you haven't seen it yet, you could pause the video right here and go check it out. And once you're done, you can come back. You can come back here. You ready? Are you set? All right. So, after Seven was able to hear the kids' voices, he was able to say he was able to realize he was able to get through a vent and discovered a door leading to the incinerator. Which four kids were there, including Snake, Santa, and two other girls. After getting after getting some rope made by the by the bed sheets he made, well, from the bed sheets from the cell that he was in, Seven was able to save them and discovered and and saw that someone else was saw that what he was doing and was really mad, and that was Ace. And after saving the kids, they were able to find a way out of the incinerator room and try to get some stair, get to up some stairs. But unfortunately, our Santa's sister, also known as Akane, was left behind, and they tried to get her. But unfortunately, Akane was captured by was captured by Gantaro, aka Ace, and was placed in the incinerator again. And unfortunately, the countdown started, and seven and Santa and Anuv and even Snake tried to beat down the door, but it was no use. And then the inner incinerator started, and Santa's sister was killed. And on and after Junpei asked Seven her Akane's last name, he said Akane Kurashiki, the same Akane who was Junpei's childhood friend. And is Santa's sister. I mean, wow. Absolutely freaking wow. I mean, there's so many questions. I mean, is this really the same Akane Kurashiki? Is this is this the same one as well as as except as Junpei's longtime childhood friend as well as Santa's sister? Is the, is the body really is the body from is the body from nine years ago really Akane's? How could he ship? How could she have survived that? And from what we've, and from also not only that, but we also really have learned that Nijisaki, the Ninth Man, as well as as well as the man with the zero bracelet, were killed, and we believe it was a form of revenge for well, Akane, well by Santa, but. Well, we have learned that Santa did not kill anyone. I mean, we don't know if he. If, well, we all 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 that we know that the one person left behind the, who was behind the project was Ace. After we were able to find the Neptune key and get out, we if led us to the incinerator room, and here we are. And where we end in the last episode is that we saw both. Well, we saw Santa hurt, and. June unconscious and 
that's where we stopped. I, I, I don't know where what happened to both Ace and Lotus. But, looks like we're gonna find out in this episode. So what the hell is going on indeed? What's wrong? Are you okay? Jumpy. Jonah. You came to get me. Of course I did. I made a promise. I'm so glad you're here. So glad. Hey, what happened to you? Yeah. I'm fine. I just fainted. I wasn't feeling very good. Really? I'm feeling a lot better now, though. Are you sure? Yeah. Because you've been doing like you've been doing that a lot in the past couple of episodes. Yes. I just need to rest a little longer. I'm I'm sure I'll be fine. Hmm. You shouldn't worry about me. Santa. Santa. Hey, where is it? Where's the gun? You hide it somewhere? Whoa, 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 careful! I think Santa's been hurt. I don't have it. You don't? I got sucker punched and they took the gun. Who? What? Who took it? Yeah. What? Isn't that obvious? Lotus and Ace. I took the gun. Ace. No! Damn it! Not again! Ace. Again with this! Oh, shit. The same damn thing! I get the freaking safe ending! Or zero lost ending. Or whatever! <sighs> you. You were behind that project nine years ago. Just what the hell do you think you're doing, Ace? Yeah. Or maybe I ought to say Gintaru Hongo, CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. Oh, yes. You have me at a disadvantage, and I don't like that. You know me, but I don't know you. Wait, you don't remember? Do you have any idea how much I've suffered? Can you even begin to understand my pain? What? The pain of prosopagnosia, right? That's right. Wait, how did you know about that, Jinping? Is that like, it's like, you remembered, right? Another irritating insect. And how do you know that, hmm? Good question. Yeah, another timeline, I guess. No matter. If you don't want to answer, it makes no difference to me. This is a waste of time, anyway. It's time for me to go. What? First is one. Give me your hand. Lotus. <laughs> Eight. And with this... That's right, he took the ninth man's bracelet. Nine. That's right. The ninth man. Kubota's bracelet. Yeah. I believe I've won this game. I've had quite a time playing with you. I must thank Zero, I suppose. What? Wait, what? What? Ace doesn't know who Zero is. Okay, so he doesn't know who he is. Zero. Uh, uh, <laughs> the hell are you playing, Santa? At any rate, this game ends now. I will escape, and the rest of you will have a slightly less pleasant ending. I don't think so. I suggest you enjoy your final moments. Goodbye. No. Wait! Shit. What? Why isn't it opening? It's not op- Oh, I see. <sighs> One more time. Okay, so in the original timeline, he thought that the ninth man's a cub- Um, Kubota's was like the ultimate, was the ultimate prize. <laughs> Whoa! Lotus! Now open! No! What is this? Why? I see. It has to be a six. The digital root should be nine! It has to be nine! Then why? Why isn't it opening? Now! Get him! Ah! Nice one, Seven! Ha! No. <laughs> 
Get the gun away from him. Oh, that was close. Too close. Thank you, Seven. <laughs> Thank you, Seven. Don't mention it. <laughs> Just one punch ain't enough of this piece of shit. Mm -hmm. After what he did nine years ago, I ought to rip him to pieces. But if a suspect can't talk, they ain't much good. Mm. Once he's locked up in a cell, we're gonna have a little chat. Right. <clears throat> Nine years ago? Uh, then you must be... Yep, the detective. Yeah, you finally figured it out, dumbass. Oh. Ace, you killed Kubota, Nijisaki, and Musashido, didn't you? So he killed them. Wait, Nijisaki? Oh, right. You don't know yet. Oh yeah, that's right. The man in the shower room. Alright. We'll just go through them in order then. Yeah. Let's start off with Kubota. The ninth man. You talked to Kubota and managed to convince him to go into door 5 alone. Right. You killed him without making it look like you killed him. Right. The way I figure it, you had four motives. Here we go again. One. In the Nonary game, the number nine is dangerous. Absolutely. Whoever had the nine bracelet could join whatever team they wanted. Yeah. Adding nine to any number doesn't change the digital route. Mm-hmm. Which means that number nine could do whatever they wanted. Mm-hmm. You wanted to remove that threat as soon as possible. Exactly. Two. You wanted the number nine bracelet for yourself so that you could make use of its power. It's like the Chaos Emeralds or, or like, or the Triforce of Power. In fact, you did use it in the murder of Niji Saki. Yeah. Three. Even if his number hadn't been nine, Kubota was a problem. Yeah. He knew your past. He knew what had happened nine years before. That's right. You needed to silence him before he told anyone. Mm-hmm. Four. But last, and perhaps the most disturbing, you used Kubota as a test. You wanted to know how serious this nonary game was. Was it truly life or death or simply a harmless prank? Yeah. And that was absolutely sickening of what you did. You convinced him to break the rules so you could see what would happen. Right. That was why you killed Kubota. But he was only the first. Right. Next was Nijisaki. A.K.A. the man wearing Snick's clothes. While everyone was off looking for the missing parts for the Reds, you ran into Nijisaki near the big hospital room. Right. However, because of your prosopagnosia, you didn't realize he was Nijisaki. No. Chiefly because, when you met him, he was dressed like Snake. Yeah, and he was half-drugged. That was why you thought Nijisaki was Snake. Mm-hmm. No, that, that's not... That was Nijisaki? Yes. Why? How did... That's still a good question. I'll get to that. Anyway, you thought he was Snake. Snake was one of the kids in your experiment nine years ago. Yeah. You remembered him because he was the blind kid. Right. But his presence made you think. Mm -hmm. Snake was one of my subjects nine years ago. He probably hates me. Absolutely. But if that's true, why isn't he saying anything? Yeah, because Zero told him not to tell me anything. Is he keeping quiet because he can't see? No. Or perhaps he's working with Zero to get revenge on me. Well, no. Well, once again, no. Whatever the reason, anyone who knows my past is a threat. Mm-hmm. Before he tries anything, I need to get rid of him. Right. That was when you decided you had to kill him. You thought he was Snake, but you thought wrong. The murder weapon was Kubota's bracelet. Mm-hmm. You just waved it over the red. Verified your own number and then grabbed Nijisaki's arm and forced it over the scanner panel. Yeah. Then, when the door opened, you kicked him in. Nine seconds later, the door closed. And then 81 seconds passed. And then... 
and poor Nijisaki was dead. He was your right-hand man, and you killed him. You mean to say... Snake is still alive? Yep, he's right here. Even though he's wearing different... Even though he's wearing different clothes. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm as good as new. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for killing the wrong man. <laughs> but I can't say I like knowing that you wanted me dead. Yeah. Although, to be honest, even if you hadn't tried to kill me, I would still hate you very much. Yep. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't blame you. Last but not least, let's talk about Musashido's death. Yeah. When Clover and I were investigating the chart room, you came over to talk to me. Yeah. Do you remember what you said? Oh, a pocket watch. Might I take a look at it? Yeah, you knew about the pocket watch. I handed it to you, and you left the room. Oh. You had been in charge of the Nonary Project. Yeah, so you would know every single piece of the puzzles. Of course you would have known the solution to every puzzle. Mm-hmm. Which would mean that you also knew how to get out of the wheelhouse. Right. All you had to do was place the watch in the indentation on the door to unlock it. Yeah. With the door open, you could enter the captain's quarters. Musashido was there. He was. Conveniently placed next to him was an axe that practically begged you to kill him with it. You picked up that axe and buried the blade deep in the other man's chest. One blow was all it took. Yeah. And then you returned to the chart room as if nothing had happened. Oh, yes. There was something I wanted to speak with you about, Junpei. Could you come with me for a moment? Mm-hmm. I had no reason to say no, so I followed you to the wheelhouse. Yeah. When we stepped inside, remember how you slipped your hand into my vest? Yeah, to see if, you, if I switched the... Well. You pulled out a piece of paper, the one I used to cheat during the vote. But that wasn't really what you were after. No, you just put the pocket watch back in the, my vest. Your true purpose had been to slip the watch into my pocket. Yeah. It wasn't a very good plan. It had way too many holes, and someone saying the wrong thing could have brought it all down around you. Right. You must have been desperate. Oh, I believe he was. But what made you willing to risk it all to do it? Yeah. Ace. Musashido's murder is the only one I don't understand. You obviously did it, but why? Why indeed? Why would you kill your former colleagues? Because of this. Because of what? What's with the paper? Yeah. Just read it. <sighs> Let's see. Number one. There are two ways you might survive this ordeal. The first is to win the nonary game. The second is for you to confess your sins of nine years past. Really? One, win game, two, confess sins. Okay, I don't think we've ever had this before. I've prepared a camera in the captain's quarters. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's what it is. That's why. Okay, so that's why that camera was there. The images captured by that camera will be streamed through a satellite and distributed across the world. Okay. Simply look into the camera and repent. Once you have confessed everything, I will release you from this ship. To make your confession more credible, I have left you a witness in the captain's quarters. That's why you killed him. That's why you killed Kajichika. Or Mus Musashido. Perhaps yep. he will confess with you. That's why you killed him. To keep hiding your past. The decision is yours. Do as you please. Zero. Zero plant this. Hmm. When I awoke in that room on d -Drake, I found that in my pocket. Hmm. So, Zero knew about you. That was why I chose door one when we voted. Of course. If I went through that door, I knew I could get to the captain's quarters. 
Okay, so if we went through door six with Ace, okay, so that timeline would be very different. As you said, I knew how to enter the wheelhouse. My plan was to find the pocket watch before anyone else. Well, even though I did. If I could, then my alibi would be set. At least, that was the plan. But it all came crashing down. Unfortunately for me, you got to it first. Mm -hmm. That sleight of hand was the best I could manage on short notice. You meant to kill him from the beginning then? <laughs> uh, Musashido, I mean. Yeah. I only knew Musashido was the witness after I reached the captain's quarters. Yeah, after one, after everyone you killed. I asked him, and he answered. He seemed groggy. Perhaps he had only just awoken from sedation. That would make sense. I suppose Nijisaki was in much the same state. He seemed confused and disoriented when I encountered him. Yeah. So they were all drugged. But yes, you are correct. I intended to kill him from the beginning, even though I didn't know who he was. I proceeded to the captain's quarters in order to remove this so-called witness. Hmm. Ace, you figured it out, haven't you? Yeah. You were being manipulated. Yes, so it would seem. Yeah, you were. I was little more than a puppet, in many ways. So both of them were drugged by zero. Everywhere I went, everything was already prepared. The reds in the large hospital room were dismantled. Nijisaki was dressed like Snake. Right. There was an axe in the captain's quarters. Musashido was delirious from the anesthetic, so he couldn't fight back. Yeah. Nijisaki as well. In retrospect, I can't understand how I could have fallen into such a simple trap. Because Zero wanted revenge. But yes, yes. This was a trap. It was Zero's trap. And I fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. I did everything he wanted me to do. Yeah. By manipulating you, Zero was able to kill three people and keep the blood off his own hands. Right. All of this was revenge for what happened nine years ago. That's why this nonary game happened. Yeah. Am I right? Santa? Santa? Huh? What the hell are you talking about? I don't know any... Just, just spill it, Santa. Ain't no point trying to play dumb anymore, Santa. Actually, I guess I should call you Aoi Kurashiki, huh? Hell yeah. My memory came back to me, kid. You're Aoi Kurashiki, no doubt about it. Never thought I'd be back in this room talking to you. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. But hey, I guess this was all part of your plan, right? After all, the person who planned the notary game this time around was Zero. Yeah. And Zero's you. <laughs> Looks like you really do have your memories back, huh? Hmm. Guess he does remember him. Well, I guess there's no point in hiding it then, huh? Yeah, you got me. I'm Aoi Kurishiki. Okay. I was one of the kids in the nonary game nine years ago. Yeah. I made it out. So did Snake over there. Yeah. Seven remembered. But there's one thing... No, I, I guess there's two things you got wrong. What? Number one, I ain't zero. What? So, wait, I always not zero? What? What? Wait, what? Sure, I was helping zero out, but I'm really more of an assistant, like a secretary. What? He was assistant? But an assistant's only an assistant. So you were only helping Zero? I didn't come up with all this. You didn't? All I did was follow Zero's orders. Then, if you're not Zero, who is? Yeah. Calm down there, Junpei. <laughs> didn't I say two things? You made one more mistake. What is it? Junpei, you just said, 
All of this was revenge for what happened nine years ago. All right. That's why this nonary game happened. But that's not it. Revenge isn't the only purpose. It wasn't? Revenge not only, not only purpose. There's another reason you guys were playing the nonary game. What is it? <laughs> to save someone. Really? To save someone? Who? Save someone? Right. You were brought here to help my sister. What? To save Akane. Save Akane? What? What the hell are you talking about? Akane Kurashiki died nine years ago in this room. I was there. I saw... What? What? Wait, what happened? What the hell? Where's... Where is she? Where's Akane Kurashiki? Where's Akane? Ugh. Oh, my head! Oh, my head, it... Feels like it's gonna pop! Seven! What the hell is going on? His memory... He has a headache. I don't know. I don't know, I just... Oh. I swear to God, my head feels like it's about to explode! What? What was the Notary Project? Yeah. I'm sure you know already, but I'll tell you one more time. It was a project designed to test a particular phenomenon. Yeah. And what was that phenomenon? For two organisms to communicate with one another in the absence of physical contact. Absence of physical? What? The morphogenetic field no. theory. Could human beings use these invisible fields to exchange information? That was what this experiment was conducted to determine. Yeah. <sighs> there were two separate locations. One was the gigantic, and the other was a building in Nevada called Building Q. Right. The nine children trapped in Building Q were faced with numerous puzzles, Copies of identical ones in gigantic? Yeah. They were told to send their answers into the morphic field set and transmit them to their brothers and sisters on the gigantic. <sighs> the transmitters were put in building Q, and the receivers were put on the gigantic. Each sibling pair was supposed to be split up, but... Oh. But you and Akane. That was different. But... There was a mistake. Akane was a transmitter. Oh! Akane transmitter. Oh no. She should have been in building Q. However... But she was in the gigantic. For some reason, she was placed on the gigantic with the receivers, like me. But why? Why was she placed on a gigant on the gigantic? Perhaps she was mistaken for someone who was supposed to be in Group A. Really? Whatever the case, Akane ended up on the gigantic. <sighs> I think I've told you enough. You get it, don't you? I'm pretty sure you know where this is going, Junpei. Oh no. Where what is going? Don't play dumb. You know things you shouldn't. Things you couldn't. Wait a minute. Could this mean Junpei was was, was was a receiver? How did you know Ace had prosopagnosia? How did you know why Ace wanted to kill Kubota and how Nijisaki was killed? No way. Morphogenetic fields. Junpei had, was a receiver. Were you surprised when you found out Ace was Hongo? No. And what about the coffin Snake was trapped in? How the hell did you open it? Well, that's... Ah! Well, what the... He knew because I knew? Who's I? Junpei receiving information that I sent to him through the morphic field set. It's simple, really. How do I know the alternate future set? What? 
So this was about time travel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Imagine a river that splits in two, like an upside down Y. Holy shit! So this was like time travel, but alternate theory, alternate universes. The river flows from the top to bottom, from a single stream to two branches. Yeah, like what we've been doing, like the path that we've been going through through the entire game. It only flows in one direction. It can never flow backward. Information is the same way. It moves from the past to the future, but it never flows backward. That's why people at the river's source in the past will never know the downstream in the future. But the people downstream will never know about one, ab one another either. Information only flows along the path of the river. But I am different. I can manipulate the morphic field set to pluck knowledge from the future. I know what happens in either fork of the river. Even though the people on either fork know nothing about one another. Now, who am I? I am I, the ninth letter of the alphabet. That's right. Wait, I? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. No way. I am also zero. So zero was... He was a transmitter. No, that's not true. Not, I'm not really zero. Not yet. Perhaps you could say I am less than zero? Zero is my future. What? Zero future? Not zero. In nine years, I will be zero? her holy shit where where did she go june no akane where did you go santa why is clover oh shit freeze whoa 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 santa santa's got the gun Guess he picked it up when we were when we weren't watching. Looks like he's turned the tables on Ace, so I wonder how he likes having a gun to his head. Get up. Sure isn't about to take that gun off him for a minute, is he? Ace isn't putting up any kind of fight. I mean, I don't think I would either, but he just looks drained. I, I guess he's going for the door, huh? He doesn't need to verify to go through that door, but... Hey, what's your plan, Santa? What are you doing? Yeah. He can't get through any number of doors with just two people. What the hell is he thinking? Didn't I tell you? I'm Santa Claus. What? It's time for me to go make a wish come true. That's it? That's all he's gonna give us? What the hell does that even mean? Shit, they're out. What? And now the gate's shut. Looks like the rest of us are stuck in here. They're all looking at me. At least Seven's headaches is gone. He seems to be all right. Well, I guess there's no harm in trying. Let's see if this door still opens. Damn. Well, it looks like this door isn't opening anytime soon. So, so Akane is zero. She's sending all these all these thoughts to us in the future. But how are we going to save her? Oh, you mean we're trapped? Damn! So it would seem. What the hell is Santa trying to do? Yeah. Oh my gosh. What is it? Oh my gosh, what? Have you considered where we are? There can really only be one thing Santa would do now. Oh shit. No. No, you can't be serious. He's going to kill us. Oh, but he is. Shit, we gotta do something! Maybe we can still get out through door 9. There's the red. Yeah, alright, we can do this. I just gotta... No. It's not gonna work. No, what? there's no way. The five of us can't open this door. 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 equals 
26 to 2 plus 6 equals 8. Is there any combination that will work? Junpei, can I borrow your pen and notebook? Oh, that's right. We still got the zero bracelet. Sure, why not? I don't think I'm going to need them ever again. Well, she certainly looks purposeful. Looks like she's writing equations. A lot of them. Huh? Oh, man, she doesn't look very happy. What? Hey! No need to be ripping out pages like that! Jeez! What the hell are you doing, Clover? Give me that! Alright, at least Seven got away from her. Maybe now I could get a look at what she's writing. Let's see. What? Huh. Two plus four plus five plus seven equals eighteen. Huh. Damn! We can't leave Lotus behind! What? And there's no other way? I think there is a way. Let me look here. 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus, plus 6. Let's see here. 12. 18. Nope. Lotus. Looks like she figured it out, though. Oh, man, this is just too cruel. It's okay. Go. No! Lotus. Come on, you know we can't do that. Yeah. Oh, don't give me that. I'm sure you'd love to get rid of me. No. We all need to get out of here. God damn it, you idiot! Whoa! Where the hell did that come from? Looks like she expected it about that about as much as I did. Without... Uh... If you're not... Look, it'd be bad, alright? For a cop, he sure doesn't have much confidence. Bad? Uh, yeah. I, if there weren't assholes like you around, I'd be out of a job. What? Uh-huh. Look, I'm just not leaving you behind, alright? End of story. Seven. He's right. I'm not leaving you either. Yeah. Me too. You didn't honestly think I'd abandon you, did you? We're not gonna leave you behind. Uh, you're all idiots. Act as tough as you want, Lotus. We can all see you're about to cry. That being said, however... However... However? I doubt we would be able to open the door anyway, even if we were to leave Lotus behind. Huh? Why? Yeah. I trust you remember what happened to Ace? I couldn't, uh, see exactly what happened, but... Yeah, he, he himself couldn't get the door open. I was able to guess what he was attempting to do earlier, at the Red. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. No! What is, what is this? this? Why? The digital route should be nine! It has to be nine! It has to be nine. Why? Why isn't it opening? Just to see. Why don't we give it a shot? Unless it is an eight. Give it a shot? Yes, that is what I said. Oh. Wait a minute. Is Santa really giving us a chance to escape? Yep, one plus, one plus four, two plus four plus five plus seven equals 18. One plus eight equals nine. You were right. It is a nine. It ain't opening. But it did open nine years ago. The digital route was nine then, I'm sure of it. But what if the digital route this time was different? You think maybe they changed the settings? Maybe. Perhaps. Shit. If we can't get through the door, we can't get out. The walls are way too high. There's no way in hell we could get to that hole seven popped out nine years ago. All we can do is stand here and stare at this door with a nine on it. I guess this is it. This is the end. Is it though? I was watching. Zero. No, Akane. I had watched everything that was reflected in his eyes. I was listening. Every sound that vibrated in his eardrums. I heard. Smell, taste, touch. I felt everything he felt. I knew. 
I knew everything about him. What he was thinking, what he was feeling, what he was sensing. All of his feelings and words and fears became mine. My mind, my consciousness was inside of him. Wait, does this, why does this remind me of back in Kingdom Hearts 1 when Sora actually discovers he has Kairi's heart inside of him? Akane vision. Yeah, that's, I, didn't, I didn't notice about that. Through the morphic field set where re we were resonant, and we were as one. I was him, and at the same time, I was an observer. It started out with a tremendous noise like a clap of thunder. That was approximately nine hours ago. A bomb had gone off on the ship we were on. Is this about the nine years ago? Okay. So it was in this known ranking. That was, when, that was when my resonance with him began. My resonant event melted into him and we became one. Inside of the Junpei. Somehow, I found myself in Junpei's mind. Nine years in the future. But I didn't lose myself. I was living in two realities at once. Really? One was the present, and the other was the future. Perhaps you could think about it as two movies showing on the same screen at the same time. Eventually, it becomes difficult to separate them and determine which movie is which. However, if I concentrated, I was able to focus on one or the other. That was why I was able to grasp what was happening in front of me. Come on, over here! All the other nine kids. That was my brother, Aoi. He was yelling. I followed him. Around me were seven, or seven other children, including Snake and an... Wait. Another girl? They all looked like they were about my age. Come on, hurry up! Yep, we ran a long straight hallway and burst into the large hospital room. Everyone was arguing. Two of the boys got into a fist fight. A girl watching them began to cry. I want to go home! She cried. I want to go home! Another girl slapped the crying girl and glared down at her. It had been two hours since the Nonary game began. We were starting to fall apart. But just when all hope seemed lost, Light started talking. Light? He was blind. Nine years later, we would call him Snake. Oh, that's his real name. Hello, everyone? <coughs> Could you come over here for a moment? He was older than most of us, and his voice had authority and dignity. The fights died down, and we, and we gathered around him. I have a little sister. She is very important to me. Clover. Right now, she is over in Building Q and is desperately trying to send information over to me. Her name is Clover, and today is her ninth birthday. So her code name is the same as her real name? No way. Well, wait, I think I might have forgot about that. So today is her ninth birthday, wow. As he spoke, he pulled something from his pocket. It's the four-leaf clover! In his hand were nine four-leaf clovers. I was going to give these to her. As a birthday present, I was outside picking them when I was abducted. I'm sure I've already told you, but I am blind. For a man who can't see, collecting nine of a very specific plant is... Well, it is difficult. Mm -hmm. But my sister means a great deal to me. And I hope that these would show her how much I cared for her. That's good. That's really good. Since it's her ninth birthday, I thought nine four-leaf clovers would be appropriate. Oh, that's why. Every one of you has a brother or a sister in Building Q with Clover. Right. For their sake, we have to survive. We have to get off this ship. Do you understand? Yes. That's why. If we're going to do that, there are three things you have to remember. Three things you have to remember. We need trust and love, and we have to have faith in one another. No way. If we can take all three of those to heart, then I promise that good luck will come our way. That's why. That's why Santa hated the, hated the four-leaf clover. Because his sister died and... Unfortunately... That's why... Okay, that's why. Did you know that the leaves on the four-leaf clover mean faith, trust, 
love and luck? Okay. Those words are leaf words. Leaf words? So if you believe what I've told you, and you understand, then I want you each to have one of these. They're a promise between friends. He gave a clover to each of us. I took one too. Eventually, he was left with only a single four-leaf clover. He had one last thing to say. Now don't ever forget. So long as you have that, we will always be connected. Do you understand? Oh man. It's it's like the not the wave probably the wayfinders from Kingdom Hearts. When he finished, the tension of only a few minutes before was gone. We were calm. After that, we ran around the ship for a while longer and opened several of the numbered doors until we finally found a door with the number 9 on it. It was here! In fact, there were two doors with 9 on them, and we found them in the chapel. We split into two groups and walked through the doors. The incinerator room. Before long, we all found ourselves in a room with a ceiling that looked like an upside-down funnel. For some reason, this room had another number 9, but this time, it was the only one. But if there, were only one, if there was only one door, that meant only five people could escape. What are we gonna do? What? There aren't any other doors! We all we began to panic. Then, as if things had not gone bad enough already, Oh no, not the I always swallowed hard and answered. I think it means this room is gonna burn. Burn! The plaque on the door says incinerator. Yeah. And that voice said that the incineration is about to start. And incinerate means to burn. Oh no. No! Help me! Abject fear filled the room as everyone began to scream and cry. If an every pair of eyes were filled with despair. Then, high up on the wall, a door opened, and a man appeared. He was a huge, frightening mountain of a man, as large as a bear. Seven. Nine years later, we would call him Seven. Don't worry, kids. I'm not your enemy. I'm one of the good guys. So he's found them. I'm a detective. I'm here to rescue you. The rest happened just like Seven said it did. Four of us who had stayed behind were saved by Seven. We crawled through the vent, away from the incinerator, and slid down the, into the hall. We came out on the other side of the door nine. On the wall opposite the door was a set of double doors. We went through those and began to run up the spiral stairs. As we ran, I led the way. Behind me were Nona, my brother Owie, Snake, and Seven. The other children. The ones who had gotten through door 9 before us were up ahead. I could hear them cheering each other on. We ran, ran, and ran. We leapt across as many stairs as we could and kept running. The stairs spiraled upward like a tornado. Eventually, I pulled ahead of the rest. Perhaps Nona had slowed them down. What? I didn't want to lose them, so I slowed down as well. I didn't stop, but I glanced over my shoulder from time to time to see if they had caught up. That was when I realized. What? Did I drop Jumpy's present? No! I knew I had it with me when, I, when we passed through the vent. Then, had I dropped it as we slid out? I had to go back. I had to. No, 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 no! Is that why? But I knew I couldn't tell the others. They would stop me. I was sure of it. I didn't stop to think. I simply moved. What was... What was Jumpy's present? With Junpei's, I ran to the central hall. 
the room that connected to all the other areas of the ship. I hid in the shadows, and moments later, I felt a rush of wind as they ran past me, up the staircase. I waited until they were out of sight, and then I ran. I moved as quietly as I could, down, down, and down. Finally, I reached the bottom deck. Oh no. I ran to the hallway and looked around frantically. There it is! What was it? It was just where I thought it would be, sitting under the opening of the vent. I ran over and snatched it from the floor, but as I ran back toward the stairs in freedom... No! 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 No, 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 no! The door to the incinerator opened, and a man stepped out. It was Hongo. Ace. Gentaro Hongo. Nine years later, you would call him Ace. Ah, oh, how wonderful to see you decided to come back. No, 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 no. His smile made my blood run cold. It looked mechanical, as if someone had simply pulled up the corners of his mouth. Come with me. We must continue the experiment. No! I shook my head, eyes wide. Slowly, I began to walk backwards. One step. Two steps. Three steps. Then I spun around and broke into a run. I felt Hongo's hand close over close over my left wrist. I no! Said, Come with me! No! There was an edge of insanity to his voice now. I pulled as hard as I could. No! Stop! Let go of me! Let go! I shook my body and flailed my arms, trying desperately to get Hongo to let go of me. But I was still only a child. I was no match for a man like Hongo. Stop struggling, goddammit! Do as I tell you! He, he heaved on my arm, trying to pull me into the incinerator. I screamed. Help me! Somebody help me! Then suddenly... Akane! The door to the stairs flew open, and my brother Aoi burst out of it. Behind him came Seven and Snake. Akane! He cried my name again as, I, as he leapt toward Hongo. You came back! I, as I cried out. But then... Ah, you're too late, idiot! No! Hongo threw his full weight against my arm, pulling us both into the incinerator. Ah! No! The force of it threw me into the floor. I scrambled to my feet and looked toward the open number 9 door. Hongo stood between it and me, but behind him I could see my brother, his fists clenched. But those fists never reached Hongo. With the cold, heartless screech of metal on metal, the door slammed shut. Hongo glanced at me mechanically, his face registering that there was an object there, but not anything he would consider a human being. He, then he turned away and walked toward to the red that sat next to the door. He reached to his pocket and removed two bracelets. He waved them both to the scanner panel. Two asterisks appeared on the red. He checked the screen, then tossed the bracelets carelessly onto the floor. What? What was he doing? What was the point? He made no effort to explain himself, of course. He said nothing at all and walked past well, as though I, I was nothing more than a rock by the roadside. A few moments later... Oh no. What were those bracelets? The two other doors slid shut as well. Faintly, I could hear someone pounding on the door behind me. I turned around and ran toward the door with the nine. Okay. I could hear a voice from the other side of the door. A worried, frightened a voice. Help me! My throat was already raw, but I screamed as loud as I could. My voice echoed lonely around the empty room. What should I do? I, I think I'm trapped in here. What about what about the bracelets? Where did Paul go? He went out the other door. What? And it started again. has been acknowledged. Oh no. Incineration will begin in 18 minutes. Oh wait, playing as... Wait, playing as Junpei? Please evacuate the incinerator immediately. What? Holy shit. Man, I knew this was... I knew it was gonna say, but... This is one hell of a creepy voice. I knew it! Uh, it's starting. Santa started the incinerator. Yeah. Fuck! 
Man, I never thought I'd hear that damn voice again after nine years. Ugh. What the hell? What the hell? What in God's name are you talking about? It's nine years this and nine years that, and when it's not nine years something, then you're talking about some sort of fucking experiments. You aren't making any sense. Uh, That's right. Lotus never <laughs> talked about this. I'm sorry, Lotus, but we really don't have time to explain it right now. Yeah. I promise. I'll tell you everything once we get out of here. Yeah. But... Incineration will begin in... Oh, no. 17 minutes. You know what that means, right? Incinerate means burn! I know! Uh, what kind of idiot do you think I am? I know what incinerate means. Well, god damn it! Okay, okay, fine! I won't ask anything else. Talk about whatever you want. But you have to do something for me. Seven, figure this out. What? Why me? Just shut up and stop this thing! I can't! How the hell? There has to be some sort of emergency shut-off button. There isn't anything like that. Damn. How the hell do you know? He was... he had been through this before. Because I looked for it nine years ago. Yeah. Yeah, Lotus isn't happy about that. Can't really blame her. Wait. The floor. It's moving. Huh? Oh no! What else can I say about it but- What the hell is that? Yeah, wait. Why is that a TV? <gasps> what is that? What is that? What else could I say? The floor opened and a machine rose up out of it. It looked like a computer. At least, it kinda did. There was a monitor, a keyboard, and a cross-shaped device of some kind. Something about the machine scared me, but I forced myself to walk up to it. I was terrified. Tears poured down my face. I wiped them off, even as more took their place and forced myself forward. Finally. I reached it. I looked at the screen. It was blank. All I saw was my own frightened face staring back at me from the glass, drenched in tears. All I can see on this screen is a reflection of my own face. I'm looking kind of freaked out. Oh man. I know I'm sweating like crazy, but seeing it kind of drives it home. Okay, Junpei, just calm down. All right? Everything's gonna be okay. Ah! Man, I wish that thing would just shut up! Incineration will begin in 15 minutes. Crap. Alright, back to this thing. If it's only showing up now, then it's gotta be important. But what the hell am I supposed to do with it? Hmm. Hey, move! Oh, that's right! Lotus has a pro is the program. Ah! Hey! We're all, right, we're all tense, lady. That doesn't mean, that doesn't mean you get to shove people around. Okay, it's turned on. There's nothing on the screen, though. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. If there's nothing on here, how are we supposed to do anything with it? Oh, no. Sure, I'll just push buttons, but I'm sure that will... What? Huh. At least that's on. At least it's on now. What's on the screen, though? What is this? What's up? What is this indeed? Wait a minute. Password. P A S W O R D. Wait, there's password. It I think it's like some sort of puzzle. Yeah. It's got a bunch of numbers and letters scattered across five by five grid. Numbers range from one to eight. Do you think that if we solve this puzzle, the incinerator will stop? Yeah. Well, we can hope, right? I hope so. Alright, Puzzle. How do you work? Oh man, that damn voice again! Incineration will begin in... 13 minutes. 13 minutes?! Shit! 
13 minutes. Can we really do this? My heart feels like it's gonna pop. My heart was pounding like it was about to explode. I stared at the puzzle on the screen. I was sure I had to solve it somehow, but I had no idea how. My connection to Jumpy had been gone for a while. So wait, you're still connected to him? His mind was gone. I couldn't get any more information from him. I felt the seconds tick by as I stared at the screen, completely lost. My cheeks felt hot as tears poured over them. Then I heard a voice. Hey, what are you doing? What? It was muffled. I turned around. Pressed against the window on the, in the entry doors, a face. A frightening, evil face. It was Hongo. How long had he been, had he been watching me? Oh, don't know what to do. He was yelling, but his voice was still muffled. It's simple, really. But I suppose I might as well tell you. Just solve the puzzle on that machine. <laughs> you are a sick man, you know that. His laughter was muffled by the door, but it still tore at the at my heart like the claws of a vicious monster. I bit my lip and glared at Hongo, still str struggling to hold back hot tears. You a terrible person! I hate you! Oh my! How could you call a gentleman such as myself a terrible person? That's not very nice. I'm quite fair. I don't use tricks or play dirty. Really? You see? I've even left you a way out. What? A way out? A way out? Didn't you hear me? All you have to do is solve that puzzle. Do that, and you can stop the incinerator. What's the point of stopping it? You'll only capture me and make me do this all again. I'm not going to listen to you. If you're just going to throw me back in here, I might as well just die now. My goodness, haven't you listened to anything I've said? I told you, I'm a fair man. Is he? Huh? If you solve the puzzle, the verification function of the red will in turn activate. If this experiment is to deliver valid results, there must be a chance of success. If you succeed, you will escape. That's right. If Jumpy was if if Jumpy is able to solve the puzzle in the future, and if past if past Akane is able to connect with him and see what he's been doing, then she might be able to escape. The verification function of the red? Then I remembered. Before Hongo left the room, he had scanned two bracelets into the red. Ah, so you do remember. Right now there are two numbers in the red. The first is one, and the second is three. Then we need the five. Say, Akane, what's your number? Five. I looked down on my left hand. The face on my bracelet showed a five. One plus three plus five equals nine. I ran to the door with the nine on it. I grabbed the red and put my hand against the scanner panel. What? It's not working? You really aren't one for listening, are you? Oh no, no, no. I heard Hongo's voice, muffled voice from across the room. I've already told you, didn't I? Once you solve the puzzle, the verification function of the red will activate. In other words, if you haven't solved the puzzle, you can't enter your number. What kind of fool are you? Why? Why are you doing this? <laughs> you can never understand. You don't know what it's like to spend every day surrounded by monkeys. What? Huh? Now start the experiment. Solve the puzzle! I can't! I don't know how! Of course you don't! Isn't that the point? You understand, don't you? Access the morphogenetic field and find the solution! That's what it is. I can't! Then you'll die. You'll burn alive. <laughs> it's gonna be quite hot in there in a few minutes. I imagine it will be very... <laughs> his horrible laugh echoed across the room, even after his face disappeared from the window. I could hear it. 
Great, gro great gulping and sobs broke into hiccups, but I shook my body. Oh man. I hate to do this, but it looks like <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna pause her here because this is gonna be all the time I have today for this video. I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry I have to end up on a on a cliffhanger. But damn! All this going back and forth stuff. The past and the future colliding. Oh my gosh. The alternate timelines that we have explored? It's all connected. That's why Akane, aka Zero, was able to well tell help well was able to give that information to Junpei. Wow. And after all those timelines, after exploring all those different timelines, she was able to see them. And is that why she's teleporting? No, she's not teleporting. She's fading in and out of time. That's what she was doing. I mean, it's not like... It's like... How should I put it? Like, sort of like Back to the Future, I guess? I don't know. But yeah. But even if she disappears, people would still remember her. Santa still remembers her. Everyone else in the in the present in the future remembers her. But yeah. I hate to say this, but this is all the time I have today for this video, so in the next episode, we'll see what happens next. Will Junpei finally figure out the puzzle to help help Akane find a way out in the past? Or or what else? Well, we're just gonna have to wait in the next episode of Zero Escape 999. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to check out my other Let's Plays where I do all different kinds of gaming genres, whether they be for visual, other visual novels like Zero Escape or Danganronpa, or RPG games, or open world games, or, or, or actually also even side-scrolling games, or park games, or fight games, or any other game genres I've done throughout my channel. And not only that, but also be sure to check out my other videos where I do reviews, discussions, reactions, top tens, voice impressions, and theories. And if you like the content I make on my channel and want to see more, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell on to keep updated for all the latest content. Once again, thank you everybody so much for watching. I will see you next time. Speed Streak out.